Kindergarten Teacher here. I hope you'll enjoy watching this video and find something you can use. I may not be a pro, but I always find creative ways to work with what I have. And if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Then join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get more of Avant Garde Teacher. Thanks for watching. This video is rated E for everyone. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to start with the blank Google Slides. We're going to name the presentation and we're going to set the background. Click on background and I'm going to add an image from the web of a playground. Then add in your Bitmoji character. Now on the first slide I'll add instructions on what I want him to do on the rest of the slides. And then I'm going to copy and paste to make a duplicate slide for slide number two. Before I forget, Put in your arrow and then type in ready, set, go um, so that when we start hyperlinking, that'll be the hyperlink in slide number one. Now when you choose your theme, there should be some elements inside of your scene that you can hyperlink that'll um, take them to where they've done well or chosen correctly or they have to try again. So my theme for the playground is going to be sports and different activities you can do on the playground. So I'm inserting my pictures and some of the pictures I did have to use remove BG uh, because I couldn't find them having a transparent background. And then I'm going to put in my problem and I'm going to put in numbers and um, that's what they're going to be clicking on, whatever the correct answer is to the equation that I type. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up. And at this point we are not hyperlinking anything. Just FYI, we, I don't hyperlink until the very end after I get all my slides in place. Now after I have all my main slides in place, then I'm going to put in my congratulations slide. So once they're all finished, the next slide that you do is the one where it has congratulations, they're all finished. So I put the background or set the background as a color, then I'm going to add my bitmojis and it's going to read congratulations. Step number three is now to add the slides where if they get it right, they click on next. And if they get it wrong, there's try again, or you can put a hint in there. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, so I always start with the blank slide. I put set my background as a color. I can use my stickers um, and then I can drop my bitmoji if I don't want to use stickers. Um, and this will be the slide that says next. They got it right. So I'll put in an arrow and I'll put next on it. And then my next slide will be the slide if they need to try again or they need a hint. So again, I start with the blank slide and I put my bitmojis in there and I set it so it's the try again. No hyperlinks yet. Okay, so I now have my check screens and I have my try again screens completed. I'm going to highlight both of those using my shift key. Hold down shift and click on uh, both of those at the same time. And then I'm gonna copy command C or control C and then I'm gonna paste command V or control V and I'm gonna do it 12 times because that's the number of activity screens I have. Now the last thing to build is your hint screens. So again, start off with a blank template and whatever you want to put on your hint screens. I put in equal groups for math. I put in a T-chart and I'm going to put a video in there. Um, to insert a video, you go to insert video and you can put in a YouTube link. You can put in um, 
You can access your Google Drive to find video and have it actually inserted where it won't bring them out to another tab in the internet. So I've inserted video and then I'm just going to duplicate this screen again the same number of times where I have my activity slides. So I have 12 activity slides that means I have to duplicate my hint screen 12 times. And time to hyperlink. It'll go really easy because they're all in a sequential order. All right, let's get started. Okay, we go back up to slide number two and the first thing we're going to do is apply a cover. So you go to your shapes and I'm gonna choose a rectangular shape. And I'm going to drag it across the entire slide. Then I'm gonna click the hyperlink button and I'm going to hyperlink it to itself. So this is slide number two. I'm gonna hyperlink this shape to slide number two to itself. Then I'm gonna click and make it transparent. That prevents if someone clicks outside from the slides advancing. Now I'm gonna get another shape and I like to use just a bubble or a circle so I go in and get a circle, and I'm going to put a circle around each of the answer choices. So I've just copied and pasted, duplicated them, and so I put them around the answer choices. Then remember I was telling you about sequential order making it easy? Well, I know that my answer slides, so whether they get it correct or try again, the first pair, I know the number to the first pair. So correct is 15, and incorrect or try again is 16. So I hyperlink the shapes based on that. So this shape is 15, the other two are 16. Then I'm gonna make them transparent. And I make sure that I also take the border, make it transparent as well. And there you go. So let's try it again. First thing we do, cover. Next thing we do, hyperlink it to itself. Third, three, third thing, make it transparent. Now, I'm gonna go and get a circle and I'm gonna put a shape over the top of each one of my answer choices. And so, we did 15, 16 in the last slide, so the correct answer will be 17 in this slide, and the incorrect answers will both be hyperlinked to 18. It makes it really easy if you do it this way. But if you like a different way to do it or you wanna do it as you go, you certainly can. Okay, I'm gonna speed up. Don't forget to go back to slide number one and hyperlink the arrow that says go or ready, set, go. 
And then the next thing that we're going to hyperlink is going to be the check step and the try again step. Okay, so the process again, always start with your cover, then hyperlink the page to itself, then make it transparent, and now we're going to find a shape, put it around next. We're going to hyperlink it, and going forward it'd be slide number three. And you want to do all the all the nexts, so they go in order. So the next set of checkpoints would be slide number four. All right, so let's look at the try again slide. Okay, so the process is always put the cover on first. So you cover, hyperlink the slide to itself, then make it transparent. Then you're going to put a rectangle or a bubble around try again and you will hyperlink it to slide number two. So the first one is uh, the try again is always hyperlinked to slide number two. Now the check step, when you put its cover on and you put the bubble around the arrow, then you hyperlink it to slide number three because it's moving forward. And this is why putting those slides in order is so important. Okay, after you complete hyperlinking all the try agains and nexus, now we will hyperlink the hints. So scroll down and find the slide number that starts the first hint. Because on the try again slide, the very first one, we're now gonna hyperlink the hints. So you already have your cover that's already there. So cover it with the shape, I'm using a circle. And then you're going to hyperlink it to that first hint. And mine began at slide number 39. Then I'm going to make it transparent and I'm gonna make sure that I make the bubble transparent around it. So now go and do all your hints in the same order. So the next one will be 40, and the next one after that, 41. And then we'll be ready to link our hint page back to the beginning. If you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we are ready for our final step, adding a hyperlink to the hint page where it says go back and it'll be added in order. All right, let's get started. If you already have your video um, inserted, you need to move your video uh, off to the side of the slide before you put your cover on. And then you put your cover on, you'll link the cover to it, the slide itself. Then you'll make it transparent then you'll move the video back in and you'll put a shape around, go back. And since this is the first hint page, you're going back to slide two. Then the next hint page will go back to slide three. The following hint page will go back to slide four. So having the order saves you a lot of time. Okay, and so I'm going to speed up. You'll want to go back and check all the links out and click on the pages, make sure everything is working right. And then you've made your first escape room.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Then join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get more of the Avant Garde Teacher.